What's up guys, how's it going? Today we're talking about one microphone that does it all. This right here is the Rode VideoMic Pro, and in the past I've used a few different types of microphones, but this one has always seemed to be my most favorite. It's small, it's versatile, and overall it seems to be a good microphone. I've used this mic for vlogging, so quick example right here. Here's how it sounds without the microphone. Hey guys, how's it going? This is how it sounds without the microphone. And now with the mic. And here's how it sounds using the microphone. A bit better, I'd say. The reason I like this microphone so much for vlogging is it's a shotgun mic. So as you can see, it has like a barrel looking shape. Whatever sound comes from the front sounds the best and any noise that comes from the back or from the sides doesn't sound, it kind of cuts it out. So if I'm in a crowd and there's lots of screaming people and this camera's pointing at me, the mic's gonna pick up me a lot better than all the screaming people. Now one thing you're gonna wanna get with these microphones, sometimes it comes with it, but sometimes not, is a Wingard micro muff. This just slides right onto it. Some people call it a dead cat. It essentially helps block the wind. I also use this microphone for voiceovers, so sometimes you see people with these big fancy microphones, but honestly, this works great for me. I just try to keep it as close as I can to my face. I like to voice over sometimes drone footage or GoPro footage of me surfing. Here's a quick example. Well guys, I just dropped into the wave. As you can see, I did a nice little cutback there, came around, hit the white water. And what's cool about this setup is I can use the footage of my face talking, voicing it over, or I can just use the audio, so very versatile. I also use this mic for kind of like like boomstick type, type style stuff. So a lot of people will use lapel mics, which is like this microphone that you have to wire onto yourself. But for a good quality wireless one, it can end up running you around $800 to $1,000. So that's a bit pricey, I'd say. But with this microphone, you can actually put it on a boomstick and get an extension cord, which I'll show you in a second. Here's how it sounds if I stand about 10 feet away from the camera and the microphone is on the camera. Check it out. Hey guys, this is me standing about 10 feet away from the camera. This could work for if I wanted to do some type of like exercise or something, I wanted to talk through from a distance. So that's how it sounds with the, cam with the microphone on the camera. Now, you can get this extension cord, which is about 10 feet long, and then you could put this on a selfie stick and then maybe convince a friend or maybe your sister to help you out to get some better audio if you're standing a good distance away from the camera. Today, my sister Keely's gonna help out. And here's how it sounds with the microphone on a selfie stick extended further closer to me where I'm talking from. And here's how the audio sounds from 10 feet away again, but this time with the microphone on a selfie stick with the extension cord. So obviously, if you were doing this for a film, you'd want to have this out of the shot, but it's in the shot just as an example. Okay. All right, thanks Keely. See, if you can convince a friend or your sister to help you out, you can get some good audio from a distance. So that's tip of the day is a microphone that is very versatile. This so far has been the best one that I've been able to find. I will leave the link in the description to this microphone in case you want to check it out. And also keep in mind that there's the same type of microphone but cheaper. And there's also the same type of microphone but more expensive. It all depends on how much you want to spend. Hope you enjoyed today's tip of the day. Remember to keep always doing awesome stuff and I'll see you guys tomorrow early in the morning. <laughs>